In this work, we use hybrid differential dynamic programming to execute planar manipulation primitives. We focus on planning and control for planar manipulation primitives of moderate complexity. One example is planar pushing, which is hybrid, underactuated, and stochastic. Our approach addresses these challenges by planning a trajectory over a finite horizon, considering a small number of contact switches, and generating a stabilizing control. Our algorithm takes an emotion model plus cost structure, initial and final conditions, a set of valid contacts, and a maximum number of contact switches. We then use differential dynamic programming to both explore all hybrid modes and rank them based on their cost to go. This is shown here for a primitive with two valid contacts and one hybrid switch. Fix the mode sequence to that of the lowest cost branch and then optimize the continuous motion variables. Our algorithm returns a locally optimal mode sequence, a nominal state and input trajectory, and a time varying linear feedback controller. We apply our algorithm to two hybrid manipulation primitives. The first is pushing in the horizontal plane, which is quasi-static and stable. The second is pivoting in the gravity plane about a fixed pivot, which is dynamic and unstable. In both cases, the algorithm chooses from the predetermined contacts shown with purple dots. Here we present simulation studies for planar pushing. The goal, shown in gray, is always the origin. The initial condition, shown in purple, is varied. Our algorithm plans a hybrid trajectory and generates a control law to execute the planned motion. We test our algorithm from a variety of challenging initial conditions. The paper contains extensive ablation studies, and we find that a planning time of, of one to two seconds is sufficient to find a trajectory for most initial conditions. We also conduct simulation studies for planar pivoting. The goal, shown in gray, is an orientation of 10 degrees. From an initial condition of 80 degrees, our algorithm plans a hybrid trajectory with two contact switches. From the same initial condition, we can also leverage the inertia of the object to find a trajectory with only one contact switch. Finally, we present ablation studies in the paper and find that a planning time of three to five seconds is sufficient to find a trajectory for most initial conditions. We test our feedback controller on a physical pushing system and show that it both stabilizes the slider and reduces the uncertainty in its final pose. Finally, we find that the ability to select and switch contacts is key to the success of both primitives. However, only one to two contact switches are needed to drive most initial configurations to a goal, enabling efficient planning. Thank you for listening, and please contact us if you have further questions.